there are three people hiding in the bathroom at Planned Parenthood where they hear, they think they hear the suspect. They hear somebody's knocking. Dramatic audio captured over police scanners during a six-hour standoff with a gunman following a shooting rampage that left three people dead and nine wounded at a Colorado Springs Planned Parenthood. While a motive remains unclear, a law enforcement official told CNN that after surrendering to police, the suspect, Robert Louis Deere, made remarks about, quote, baby parts and spoke of his anti-abortion and anti-government views with investigators. Propane tanks found near Deere's car in the clinic's parking lot led authorities to believe he intended to cause even more harm by shooting them to trigger an explosion. What is known about Deere's life indicates the 57-year-old lived a hermit's existence for many years on the East Coast, eventually living in a cabin with no electricity or running water in the North Carolina mountains. Although he lived in solitude, Deere was no stranger to police, having had several run-ins with the law. In 1997, his then-wife accused him of domestic assault, though records show charges were never filed. In 2002, Deere was charged with being a peeping Tom. Those counts were dismissed. In 2003, he was arrested and charged with two counts of animal cruelty, but was found not guilty. Within the past year, Deere purchased property in Hartzell, Colorado, a small community 65 miles west of the Planned Parenthood facility for $6,000. Neighbors say what interaction they had with Deere was friendly, but limited. A really nice guy. Gave us uh, some anti-Obama uh, flyers. I didn't even really read them. I just, I think I used them to start the fire in our campfire that night. That's about all I've run into him.